Hello everyone, Dr. Arshay is here. I want to talk about a very hot topic and that's about the could the new coronavirus that we're facing right now and cause the pandemic to the whole world has been made inside a lab. There's lots of controversy around this, so many emotion. I just want to go directly to the scientific point of view and if our answer to the questions are yes, then we can conclude that yes, this virus could be made inside the laboratory. Okay, to come up with the conclusion that the possibility of this virus made inside the lab, we need to answer three questions. First, does such technology available? Second, has there been any similar research before on other viruses to enhance their killing power and pathogenic power? And the last, which is very close to our main question, has there been any evidence on creating new pathogenic viruses from non-pathogenic virus to human from the coronavirus family, especially the one that exists inside the bat? So the first question was, the answer to the first question is, yes, there was a virus called poliovirus that caused death to more than 5,000 people. It epidemic happened in 1916 and uh, 1949, but after the vaccine uh, made, it eradicated. But after many years, in 2002, scientists made the virus out of scratch, means they made it inside the lab. How did they made it? They used the genome sequence, they made the RNA, the genes, they made the envelope, they made the DNA, and then they make the environment ready for this kind of combining. And then, yes, from non-living things, we have a living things. That's a misconception of many people. It's very difficult to understand the virus is dead or alive because sometimes the virus can be dead, sometimes it can be alive. When the environment is not ready, it could be dead. It could act like a dead and then it can be alive. If there's an RNA and there's an envelope, they can combine together and make a living virus. Very difficult topic to talk about, but just for you to have some kind of understanding of this. Our next question was, has there been any similar research before to make or enhance the power of a pathogenic virus more deadly? And unfortunately, the answer to this question is yes. They did mutant the RNA, the gene of the flu virus, which, was, which couldn't transmit by air, which was not airborne. And after they did this, it become airborne. Does it sound similar to you? The coronavirus that you're facing right now is airborne. So, yes, by changing the RNA, by changing the gene, the non-airborne virus can be more air can become airborne, and more deadly and easier to this to spread. Even one of the top scientists, the Lord May, I read it here the former president of the Royal uh, Society and one time chief science advisor to the UK government, he quoted, yes, there is danger, but it's not arise from the virus out there in animal. It's arising inside the laboratory, in the labs of grossly ambitious people. Means these people inside the lab create things which if it go out of the hands it can cause catastrophic results so yes the answer to our second question was also yes now we go to the final question which is very important has there been any work on the non-pathogenic viruses which exist inside the bat right now same bat that now they put the blame on and have them make it pathogenic to human being. Means they get the virus from the bat, which is not pathogenic, 
it cannot enter our lung it cannot enter our cell and then they make it pathogenic and the answer to this question is yes 2015 you can find this paper and it published in the nature medicine very high reputation journal it's not easy to publish in this in these journals these journals are not wikipedia you need to have lots of evidence you have to need lots of laboratory data and professors so many people review this and once they understand this is possible to be done and it can be done again then only they can they publish this so it's it's a many layer that you have to go through that be able to publish in such journal so once it come here it's a document it's proof document so what they did in this journal just to make it simple for you they get the virus from this, from the bat which call it coronavirus shc014 or 014 and then they use they mix it just this is simple term they mix it with a pathogenic virus and make a new pathogenic virus make a new deadly virus so there was the virus which was not deadly to us because it couldn't enter our cell then there was a virus that it was deadly to us and it has the it has the power to enter our cell they mix it together they made a new virus which can be pathogenic to us to explain more if you look at this picture we have one virus here which can be deadly but not to human it cannot enter our cells so it's non-pathogenic to us why because the spikes it doesn't have the key to our cells these spikes are key to our cell it opened the lock our cells then we have the other virus which can enter our cell and it is pathogenic so what they do in a simple term they mix these two together and we come up with a new virus. This new virus have the genetical material of the first virus, which is pathogenic, but not to human. But now it has the key to our cells, so it can enter our cell. Means what? It can be pathogenic to us as well. And the problem is since this virus is new, we will all get by surprise so it becomes super deadly so the answer to our last question was also yes and here i want you to see the three comparison the a is a source these small dots are the viruses that infected the uh, human cell the b is the virus from the paper I show you just now which they created inside the lab these dots against the new virus that could infect the cells in the mouse and the last one is the picture of the COVID-19 patient which the lung is already infected with the virus so the short answer is yes they could make this inside that they could make COVID-19 disease the virus that caused COVID-19 inside the lab has it made inside the lab we don't have any proof it was WHO who could get permission or I couldn't get permission to go and do the research and go and uh, test the lab inside the Wuhan which they didn't and maybe the Chinese government also won't allow but I think they're wasting time by digging the wide market nearby but for sure the facility the lab facility in the Wuhan which is only 300 meters from the wild animal lab which they call it BSL-4 facilities doing such practice 
they work on the RNA, they do the uh, test on the different viruses, and what is the result? We don't know, and we don't have any proof to say yes. This made in Wuhan lab. We cannot say that, but the answer to the question, could this virus made inside the lab, is yes. 100% sure? Yes, it could. It could be. I have two more uh, video coming. One, could this virus escape from the lab? And second one is about the origin of this virus. We wanna, I want to uh, research about how many percentage it really came from the bat and what is the percentage of it can infect human from the bat. And please f share this video to everybody else. We need to share the knowledge. We need to even sign the petition for stopping this kind of research. From morning to night, I get the petition of for dogs, cats, cows, uh, vegetarian, non-vegetarian, eagles, whatever. But we're forgetting about such important matters that are happening around us for us, for human. So we need to understand more and research more and get a better understanding of what's going on in our life and not be naive and not believe whatever we read just read the topic and just go by i hope all of you stay safe please don't forget to share this video and if you want to see my other video please subscribe until then stay safe